Hey guys, how are you? So back on some homesteading projects today. We've just about got all the rentals taken care of and, and rented. So we're in the final process of renter selection there. So back to the homestead. So today what we're going to do, we're going to put in a circuit for a welder. So a 50 amp welding circuit. Shouldn't take long. Yeah, 220 makes me nervous. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, like 220 is not one of my favorite things to play with. But We'll get through it. Uh, so basically, I need to run the plasma cutter. I need to run the MIG welder. I, I probably won't do any TIG welding on the double barrel stove, but that's the other project that I'm working on. So I hit a point where I need to cut holes for the side vent heat exchanger. You guys will see that. It's very exciting. I can't wait for that thing to be done. But so anyway, I needed some 50 amp power out here. So I'll go over equipment list with you. Uh, we'll go over how to get it installed and then we'll get started from there. All right. Hey guys, I wanted to take a second and sort of go over what we're going to need to get this job done before we get started. So we've got some 6-2 wire, 6 gauges big enough to, to carry 50 amps, not a problem. You only need two wires, so basically you get two wires in a ground. Hopefully you can see, open this packet, so you can see there's a black wire and a white wire and then a ground. You want to make sure that they're copper, you don't want aluminum, you, theoretically you can use it but aluminum is just inferior, it gets a little hotter, it's got a couple problems with it. You don't need to buy 6.3 when you go to the store, save yourself the money for a welder. Now for a dryer, it's a different story. The way a dryer pulls power, sometimes it only uses 110, which it then uses that third wire to send the other 110 back out of the 220. So in this scenario, we're gonna use all 220. So 6.2 is fine, just, I think this packet was I don't know, 35 bucks for 25 feet. I, I'm not going real far. I will have extra left over. I'm sure you'll see it in another project later. We had a 50 amp surface mount plug. So this is a, yeah, NEMA 650R. So basically it's got one big prong. I don't know if you guys can see it. One big prong, one small prong, and then where the ground plugs in. It's the same plug that I have here, this one just happens to be off the plasma cutter, but the plasma cutter, my MIG welder, and my TIG welder all use the same plug. So we have the big, the big prong, small prong, and then the circle. So that plugs up in, it just goes in, sort of plugs in that way is how it goes into the plug. So make sure before you go, take a picture of your, uh, of your plug to make sure you get the right outlet. All right, next we got some wire staples. I just got the widest ones that they had in bulk so that I can staple up any wire wherever to keep it tucked back in the wall. Nice Phillips, or nice, excuse me, nice flathead screwdriver just to uh, secure the screws both in the outlet and in the circuit box. A good pair of needle nose pliers so you can feed any wires into wherever you have to and also so you can do some cutting. You can also get some chucks uh, they're great. They're they're a little larger for or dikes. Some guys call them for for cutting the wire makes it a little bit easier the bigger they are But I just don't have a pair This our 50 amp breaker as you can see our, our box is a GE box So you do need to figure out what type of box you have sometimes you have a square D box Sometimes you have a GE box. They take different breakers. It's usually labeled inside It'll tell you what type they are so you can find the type in there. As long as your type matches what's in your box, you're, uh, you're good to go. I got an impact driver just because I have to mount a small board just to put this uh, outlet on right now because the walls are still empty. So it's just gonna be temporary until we get insulation in and then some sort of uh, you know trim on the inside. I don't, I don't really know what you wanna call it, whether it's sheetrock or some sort of plywood. I've got the uh, same large drill you saw in the light video because I've drilled through the studs. I've already done that piece. I, I pre-staged that for you guys just so you don't have to see it and it doesn't take forever. Drill a hole right in the middle of the stud. Try to make it at least an inch back so that way if you're driving in screws or nails, you're not hitting the wire. Give yourself some space within the stud. Multimeter. Always test. I like to make sure things are off. I also have a fluke around here, which I'll probably use. I didn't include it in here. The multimeter is more than enough to get you by. The fluke's just bonus. And then lastly, a hammer to drive in the staples to make sure that they're secure. So that's our equipment list. That's the entire thing we need for the project. Let's get started. 
Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a quick shot of the cable fed through the wall. Like I told you before, I pre-drilled all the holes. I used that one inch uh, large board bit. Drilled all the holes all the way through. Ran it all the way over to the, let's see if I can get the pivot. All the way over to the circuit board over there, right behind the rack, which you can sort of see. So I have all the cable pulled through. So we'll go ahead and start getting the board in place, the temporary board, getting the connections made up here, and then we'll start with the connections in the circuit panel. Okay, so here we are at the panel. I've run the cable up through the bottom. Just followed the cable around them. So you just poke a little hole, take a screwdriver, poke a hole out of one of the tabs in the bottom, feed the wire through. Put a wire clamp nut down on. I don't have one right now, so I'll come back and add one. I'll go get one this afternoon. It's just one of those things. So I brought the wire up through, stripped it. We've got a black wire, a white wire, and a ground. In most circuit panels, you're gonna have a ground bar. Usually runs down the right or the left side. In this panel, we don't have that. We have a neutral bar. You don't wanna put your ground in the neutral bar. Uh, make sure that you hook it to the ground. In this case, we've got like this huge bird's nest of ground wires over here that we're just gonna go ahead and twist our ground into. Not ideal, but basically the same premise as a ground bar. A ground bar just ties them all together. With a 220 circuit, we're gonna use both the black and the white. Both will carry 110, so it doesn't matter on our breaker which one goes into which. It's gonna go into both. I'm hoping you can see that. I turned the power off. I'm a giant sissy. I don't wanna get fried. So uh, we'll go ahead, we'll loosen these screws and then we'll feed the black and the white wire into the breaker, tighten it down, make it super tight and then we'll put the breaker into the panel. So let me go ahead, stop the film. I'll get these wires wired up and then I'll bring you right back. So I've got the white wire in and the black wire in, in the breaker. I basically just loosened this screw and loosened this screw, stuck the wire into the corresponding nut holder in the bottom, and then gave everything a super good tight. So now what we're gonna do, and hopefully I don't get in your way, there's just not a lot of room with the rack. We're gonna take this breaker, and my main's off. My main's off in the house. I've tested, I've checked that there's no, uh, there's no power to this uh, panel. So all you do is you slide it back in, press it in and clamp it down. So that's my breaker is now in there and attached to the panel. Safe and sound, I will feed the cable back down through so that it is good and secure. And then we will get the ground wire hooked up and we'll work on the outlet. Okay, so my breaker's in, my ground wire is tied together. You can see everything there. White wire fed in, tightened down, black wire fed in, tightened down. Breaker shoved in and clamped down, breaker in the off position, and then uh, the ground has been twisted into the other grounds since we don't have a ground bar. Gotta love old school Wyoming wiring. I really wish there was a ground bar, but you know, it is what it is and we'll make it work. So here we are. I have the outlet mounted up. This just doesn't have the cover on it right now. Our wires pulled through, I've stripped everything back, so it doesn't matter what side the black or the white go to in 220, because it uses both sides. So, I have my multimeter here. Hopefully you guys can see this. So, I have it set to 600 volts AC. We're gonna go ahead and touch both wires. As you can see, the wire is not hot. I have the breaker off. Make sure you have the breaker off when you're working with this. Uh, I had the I had the main breaker in the house off when I did the panel. That's just me. I like to be extra safe. I have the breaker off here now so that this is not hot. Thank goodness, because that was in the end of me right there. So let's get this wired up and screwed in, and we'll go from there. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how to get the wires into the actual socket. So I have the other two already in. I wanted you guys to see sort of what they look like. So this one here, you just shove the wire up in, take this little tab, 
I usually like to take a pair of needle nose so there's a little catch in there get it up in give it a little little push make sure it seats in there sometimes it helps to push on the wire sometimes it takes there we go so you guys saw that squeezes in tighten down So we've got our box all secured up, nice and tight, not going anywhere. Our board's good and secure. We test, we look at our meter, we've got nothing. So let me go turn on the breaker, we'll come back and we'll test again. All right guys, so I've turned our breaker back on. We can take our red and our black and we can put them in either side, it doesn't matter. With 220, it's not that important. So if we stick it in, take a look, we've got 245, so, well, we'll inspect. Looks like we have a working outlet and job well done.